the relationship sort of saved me from a lot of bad influence. I think this exactly what happened is perfect. Describe me in a few words. Oh wow. Hmm. Um, what is few words? Define few words. Okay. So, intelligent, uh, beautiful. Do you want phrases or words? Could be either. Uh, very beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and a keeper. Yeah, my my ride or die. Mm -hmm. mm. Nice one. So when you think about the first time we met, what do you remember? <laughs> um, I think two, two scenarios stand out. So <coughs> I remember our, because uh, it was at camp when we were in campus. So I remember the lengthy stories we had and the lengthy walk. So we went when everyone was uh, at the <laughs> fireside, as guys went uh, around the whole place, just walking and talking and getting to know each other. I think that's what stands out for me. And that's when I realized actually that, yeah, this, this could actually work. And then uh, when you are, for lack of a better way of putting it, literally, my knight in shining armor, when I, <laughs> when I slipped and fell into, into the water and I was drowning, and you and a few guys came and sort of took me out of the water. So yeah, those are two of the things that stand out. Yeah, I don't know what you'll do without me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Don't be so sure about that. <laughs> Describe the moment you realized you were in love with me. Yeah, so uh, it's actually, uh, we started really chatting after a week, uh, after our first meeting mm. and um, yeah, so before then, I was never the person to be chatting, chatting with <laughs> people mm -hmm. for a whole day. Yeah, so, but uh, I found myself really chatting with you, and I didn't understand a lot of the things. I was used, used to use a lot of <laughs> short forms, <laughs> yeah, but I was always on the phone and smiling. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, actually, um, how I realized is one of my roommates here, I'm sure you remember him, oh. uh, Tichi who no. told me, ah, dude, you're in love, as in this smiling, smiling of yours that you keep on having here while well on phone. Mm. Yeah, and then I was like, ah, yeah, sure, I, I kind of like this chick. Yeah. Mm. Mm. You? Um, okay. I think it was also during the period where we were chatting a lot, but what really clicked is because we had a lot of things that we had in common, especially mm. the series we liked to watch. Oh yeah, modern family. Mm, modern uh, family. Gloria was our best <laughs> character. Yeah. And um, I actually think I'm the one who told you first that I like you. Oh yeah, you did. Yes, you did. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, so that I think our the things we had in common and the mm. fact that we used to chat a lot, used to take a lot of walks. So we could mm. go to because uh, we lived you lived in campus and I lived yeah. out of campus, so we could go back and forth, especially at night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those walks were those walks were something. So yeah, good days. Good days. Fatu uh, Who calls the shots in the relationship? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, okay. I would say we both do, depending mm -hmm. on on what it is. But even. I know I've never told you this before, mm -hmm. but even when I want something and you say no, I'll find a way of you saying yes. I know. I always know. <laughs> yeah, because I know you, you'll find ways to manipulate me. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, but yes, uh, I think depending on what the issue is, we both, we both make shots. But when it comes to finances, uh, you do make the shots. Because, yeah. yeah, I know I'm a spendthrift, so yeah. We go shop everything we have, <laughs> including our... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's me. Yeah. Would you like to protect me from something, and what kind of thing would that be? Oh yeah, uh, yes, I'll definitely like to protect you from anything bad, first of all. Mm -hmm. um, but um, mainly is just to protect you from um, the world, anything that may, uh, may, the things that really bring you down. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's one thing I'll definitely want, not only 
not the things, even the uh, the things that will give you a feeling of as if you are inferior. Anything mm. that creates that notion in you, definitely I'll, be, I'll want to protect you from it. So I like that you're saying that, but the question was, mm -hmm. would you like, would you lie to protect me? Lie? Yes, ah, lie. Okay. From ah. something. And what kind <laughs> of thing would that be? Ride or die. No, I'm thinking of the things that I'll I'll have to lie. Will you have murdered somebody? <laughs> yeah. So if I had, you wouldn't lie. I mean, kill them, don't be them. Yeah, but yeah, I I I think I'll I'll have a technical truth yeah. <laughs> to protect you. I'll say a technical truth. Truth or lie? Yeah, truth. You know, technical. It's it's not a lie, but it's just omission. <coughs> omission of truth. Omission of truth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because again, um, you know, I'm I'm very strong when it comes to, uh, you know, uh, just integrity, up integrity yeah, upright. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, omission definitely. You will you lie? lie. Mm. Yes, with a straight face. <laughs> hey, come on, yeah. Manage your mayor. No. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't mean that I don't have integrity, because when I may bring in the issue of integrity, mm -hmm. I have integrity. Mm -hmm. But I think because of what we have, where we are from, yeah. you are my person, and then uh, and you're also the dad of my kids. Yeah. Uh, there's no way I'm letting you go down for something, if there's something I can do about it. So if it requires me to say a lie mm -hmm. and come up with something, yeah, definitely. So have you ever considered ending our relationship? Uh, why didn't you? Uh -huh. I don't think it's considering because at some point we had separated. Yeah. Yeah, we separated <laughs> for I think seven, eight months. Yeah. Yeah. And um but I believe that that's those are some of the challenges that come with, with being in a relationship. Especially because we are two different people from two different cultures, two different worlds with different expectations but i believe uh you're also quite young you know mm. starting out yeah and we just needed i think a dose of reality <laughs> so i think <laughs> the, the separation gave us some dose of reality and uh, us coming back together was intentional intentional mm. so that then with every action with every situation we're intentional with our actions with what we say with what we mm. do even as fast as as friends as lovers and also as parents mm -hmm. so uh, i wouldn't say that i've thought about ending it i think we've got to, at some point we got to a place where we said we'd be better off separate yeah. but then when we came back together yeah i mean it for the long haul when we are 80 mm -hmm. yeah i'm looking forward to I'm looking forward to that but uh, maybe uh, other than what really made for during that uh, that time when we were separated mm. what what made you really uh, want us to do it yeah, i know it, you said it was intentional but us just coming yeah us coming back together but mm. you know even just um after initially it was very hard even for us to have a conversation yes but later on now you know <coughs> we could have a conversation and even now we were able to plan our getting back together yes. what triggered that uh I think the first thing is, uh, of course, I was in love with you, still mm -hmm. in love with you, mm -hmm. but also we were friends. Yeah. And the, the eight months were like, hey, Kobe, this is how life is, you know, this guy. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, nah, I don't think it's worth it. But mm -hmm. also, the other factor is we have a daughter together. So oh, yeah. that also uh, played quite a huge role because we, we were already a family. So what is this thing that is so big that can't make this family work? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because if, if you already love each other, if you're already friends, eh, I think everything else can be sorted yeah. out. It's just a matter of changing our perspectives. Yeah. yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Very interesting you, I. No, I think, <coughs> uh, again, speaking of the same time where we separated, mm. um, one, I think it was the best thing to happen to us. Yes, I think so. uh, You can't compare <laughs> us before that and us now. Yes. Uh, right now, there is a lot of maturity. There is a lot of... Um, then, I think, 
uh, like for on my end I'll say I was trying to make a different person from you uh, but now so during that, that time so the thing that I'll say uh, or rather during before the breakup um, I had considered it you know us just ending this but like you said one we were in love as in mm. we liked and loved each other's company um, and that kept kept me going and that's why even I missed you a lot during that time and um, it, for me it was it was a no-brainer for us to sit back to see it on the table and now discuss uh, and just see how we can we can act things out mm. yeah mine was no-brainer other than that I don't think I've ever before that there are those times where I used to be like uh, yeah see man <laughs> see we just uh, <laughs> to rub mm. <laughs> you know to but rub friends. <laughs> to rub friends <laughs> in marriage but um i think that whole duration really helped us yeah mm. Mm. yeah and right now you have no option yeah. anyway yeah. okay kind of, kind of. um how different do you think our lives will be if we never met <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> well, uh, so we actually met. Uh, how many days to come? Tenth uh, of tenth of February, twenty twelve. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So um, I had a ritual. Uh, every Valentine's was me and my boys drinking uh, Valentine singles <laughs> edition. You know. <laughs> so fortunately, that next Valentine was the the last Valentine mm -hmm. I think I've ever been single. Um, but yeah, so for me on my part, I'll say um, the relationship sort of saved me from a lot of bad influence. I think I'll be swayed in a, in a wrong direction even during that final uh, year of campus. Uh, then even after campus and us getting the baby, you know, really forced me to mature. You know, you, yeah. you have a child, dude. You can't mm. be living like, like this. So, yeah, if we didn't meet in my head, I'm thinking uh, the direction will have been sort of the typical, uh, you know, route of, you know, you finish campus, uh, tarmac, you or hopefully money. you have money, you wait. So I think it will have ended up differently, uh, which I don't see myself in that route. I think this is exactly what happened is perfect. Yeah. Okay. You, what do you think? Uh, for me, mm. if we hadn't met, hey, okay. Uh, I've gone I back think. Share. Go. <laughs> 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 so for you, I just kick. <laughs> um, if we if we hadn't met, uh, things probably would have turned out uh, differently. Mm -hmm. But I like that we met because I prayed for it. I, do, I don't know oh, if I feel yeah. yes. I actually prayed and I was like, "Yeah, God, the next person who comes." <coughs> I don't want some guy who doesn't mm -hmm. understand who doesn't mm -hmm. understand who they are, but uh, and uh, so I've mm -hmm. never actually even thought about it. <laughs> and he, if we hadn't met, what would have happened? So I actually don't know how to answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. But what I know is us meeting and us um, growing into who we have become. I think it made me mature faster. Mm -hmm. So even during. Um, the activities that I had when I went to Kepsa, when I went to for internships and stuff like that, every time people kept on telling me, you, you actually don't act like your age, you act a bit maturely. Mm -hmm. So I think just like you, us meeting made me mature quite, quite fast, especially because we had already gotten, gotten our daughter. Mm -hmm. So I think, I think, yeah, I've never quite thought what would have happened to me if I did not meet this guy. Mm, yeah. Okay. Mm. No, power of prayer. You remember I told you I was also praying about it. Somebody had taught me mm. pray for your wife. So yes, I'll be in there somewhere, but still be like, ah, yeah, God, mm. just bring the next one to be the one. Okay. Yeah. And then the last one, the winner. So what does my love feel like? What does your love feel like? Um, I think your love feels like home because mm -hmm. I can be who I am. I can be. I can say whatever I want to say. I can cry, you know. Yeah, yeah, I can be emotional. I can be vulnerable. I can share my dreams with you, and you mm -hmm. don't sort of um, stamp on them because then you you like to see me grow as mm -hmm. well. So yeah, your love feels like, for lack of a better word, mm -hmm. I think your love feels like home. And mm -hmm. even when someone is at work and they're like going back home, and then I remember there's someone there who's going to be there for me. Yeah. Yes. And because of you and your love, 
I feel like I can take on anything because mm. whatever happens, yani, if it succeeds, then we succeed together. And if it fails, then I have someone who's got my back. Mm. So, yeah. <laughs> 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 so, what does my love feel like? Uh, I think, uh, like I'd said, uh, you know, that uh, person, you are ride or die. Mm. Um, uh, uh, that's that's what it feels the support and the warmth that comes with uh, with it of having somebody to lean on somebody mm. who is there who who has your back no matter what happens mm. i think yeah that's that's what your love feels like yeah it's a good feeling it's a good feeling yeah so mm. cheers to the next 10 years to the next 10 years mm.